Okay, this is an updated sanctuary video system tutorial for November of 2023. This is a significant change from the way the system worked before, and also it is a work in progress, so please watch your email for additional tutorials. This device still controls what goes to the projector, so hit router control. Um, what's different is this CG2 to projectors, the CG2 computer is now in the front row where lighting is and also functions as the lighting control computer. But if we're doing a, a system, if you're doing a service using the system in the second row, you want to have switcher aux to projector. But this tutorial is primarily for small events where you're only using the front row. So essentially, if you're doing a small event, you can do graphics and sound all from the front row and lights without even having to come back here during the service except at the very beginning. So if you want CG2 to go to projector, you press CG2 to projector and it routes CG2, that Mac, to the projectors. I'm also gonna reprogram this button soon so that when you push that, it also changes the stage display televisions to get CG2 as well, so that you have the same picture everywhere. But So by the time you watch this video, that should be working. And then this switcher, Master Control, controls what goes to the broadcast, to the streaming, to the, to the streaming, not to the recording. The main sanctuary events that use the main switcher still get recorded here. But this controls what goes to streaming, and it's a simple one touch. So if you press program, that goes to this switcher here. If you pr press front of house, F-O-H, front of house, that chooses the output from the switcher that is down there by the soundboard. And if you push CG2, it puts CG2 to the live stream. What's important is this is only for switching major things during a service. You're not gonna use this like during a service. You only use this before or after an event to get it going um, because it's the audio follows it too. So if you're on program audio, program, it's getting the audio from the live mix in the office in the back. If you're on front of house, it's getting the mix from the auxiliary mix on the mixer in the front and if you're on CG2, it's only getting audio from CG2. So you don't want to switch during a show on this switcher. So that covers it. So if you're doing a basic event that needs a live stream, you want to press FOH on here and you want to go to the router page and you want to have CG2 to program. Okay, this is part two of this tutorial for basic events. So this is the front of house video switcher, and it too is set for single press, but you don't have any kind of preview like you do on the big switcher. So um, button two is CG2, so you can see that's up now. Button three is camera three, which is a camera on that left side there. And then camera four is that cam switcher over there, that camera over there. So if you simply press four, it fades. Three, it fades. Two, it fades. That's it. So whatever you are running on this, it's getting the audio from the auxiliary mix on the mixer and it's sending whatever you see on this screen to the master control switcher above. And if the master control has front of house selected, then that's what goes to live stream. One additional piece of information is if you turn on this television on the right with this remote, you get this view that shows you a confidence of what's going to everything. So this shows what would be coming out of program with that switcher. This one shows what's getting routed to the projectors. This one shows what's getting routed to the stage display, which is the TVs in the front row and on the wall. And this shows the master control broadcast. So 
if this is the most important one right here. So whatever you see on this is what's going to get live streamed. So that needs to be checked. Also, what's important to note is it's getting audio here. So this audio meter and this picture represent what's getting live streamed. So that's one of the most important things to check. Again, it's this remote here and that lower right corner that says master control broadcast.